training, just in their general play, they're all very good mechanical players, but their teamwork hasn't necessarily came together yet. So just like group up, put it all on, and, and tell the world what you think, and we'll see what you guys think as we get in. It's up right now. Tech Fox decides to go for it really early on in the game. <laughs> KFO secures the tier one and big, oh my gosh! Yeah, trying to juggle the master. Yeah, but when this resets, uh, it's, whereas Cloud9 is going for immediate power, their tempo is faster, they have more CS, they have more immediate gold. Right now, a bit ahead. Yeah, investing towards the future. Flash for the by snare, Fogin. Bunny Fufu's going to be caught. There's the never move, but he makes it out, the save from Sneaky. It's a lot of flashes burned on top of that heal. Bunny Fufu's low. Keith can't catch no up. He's trying to get it. The snare will not find Sneaky. And deferred power here for Echo Fox, but like the immediate strength of Cloud9 is really, really strong. He acts no flash right here. I think KFO is dead. Yeah, KFO is currently level three. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be slaughtered. Meteos gets first. Here comes a teleport from KFO. Still level four, but Cloud9 are already on the other side. They're gonna try diving impact. KFO has no flash, but currently Keith has aggro. He snared under the turret and knocked back Ooh. in. Oh, almost goes down. And impact is able to turn it around with some help from Jensen. Meteos finds Froggen. And Jensen, meanwhile, did get that kill on the KFO. Big gets caught on top of it. Jensen is 2-0. Oh. Found Jensen, but should be able to find some pressure. KFO actually is gonna drop the grand challenge. He's down a level, but he's still doing some good damage. Healing up. Able to proc all four vitals, goes for a fifth on top of it. Impact may have bitten off more than he can chew. The minions are doing enough work, and KFO. As Impact comes on from the top, and they knock down Dangerous with the crowd control of 5 9 Yeah, not worth it whatsoever. Already and the teleport late. from Will they be able to make it in time? Hard is there, drops the cast early. Arrow threads the needle on the box. Meteos is able to lock him down. Bunny Fufu is doing some big damage along with Sneaky as Cloud9 picked off the wounded members of Echo Fox. Impact flashes, he gets the snare. It's two members of Echo Fox dead. Yes, oh, is stronger yet, and he actually gets the turret. Yeah, that glimpse of the Void buff, so strong. Able to break now down two turrets. <laughs> and Super dead. Meteos finally going to catch up. Three members of Cloud9 versus one of Echo Fox. And Meteos is going to secure the... Exactly happened with Jensen. He's been in that wave clear pattern. He sticks around for that one last hit. Teleport comes in. Yeah, and it's a body slam flash from Hard. Actually doesn't get the barrel to slow. And then the slow from Jensen's Q is nearly enough to keep Hard away, but his body slam comes back up cooldown. They can chain that with the never move, and they finish him off easily. And Keith actually ends up using his Q on the red buff, which delays the kill a little bit and is suboptimal. But luckily, Froggen has just enough mana to stay in bird form and get people pretty low. Then this Ash Arrow, if it was just a little bit farther to the side, could have actually been two, maybe three kills, because when it stuns, the explosion. it has an comp. Never move, will try to split away Jensen. KFO made have bitten off a bit more than he can chew as Jensen answers back. There goes the arrow from Sneaky as he's fighting on the far side, zoning away the rest of Echo Fox. Dragon goes down for Cloud9, and they're able to by Cloud9. Hard will spot it, and once again, Cloud9 might need to make up their mind on which they want to go for. Even teleport use from Impact to secure it. That's Baron buff for Cloud9. Arrow is going to oh, hit Z. Keith. Bunny Fufu's right there. The knockup stacks on top. He needs one auto attack and finds it. He goes down. It's two kills for Cloud9. It's 5v3 with the Baron buff. Shoving forward. They're going to take the inhib. They decide to pick of his own, and Cloud9, they do have the enhanced recall. Echo Fox have got to stop this. The flash they in the game. They could be looking for the win right now. Keith is destroyed again. This guy cannot catch a break. Yeah, and they still have Baron and Power Minis, but at the same time, they gotta be careful actually because KFO is killing the Nexus turrets on the other side. Yeah, and KFO split pushing No hard. one's been able to damage. get back. They're turning on the frog and he's trying to buy some time. No. KFO is on the second so one. Cloud Baron nine. and Powered Recalls are real, so they can get back. They just need to take the time. Yeah, uh, Hard is able to Jensen disrupt one back. impact. Oh, he actually turns it around. Jensen is back. He's going to be able to get KFO off of this. And now Cloud9 are going to turn around. KFO is dead. That's an ace. And Cloud9 win their first series of the NALCS Summer Split. Yeah, it gets a little bit dicey as you're always fearful that KFO can backdoor the Nexus, but I actually really like the shot calling by Cloud9 down the stretch there. The decisiveness of impact to catch Keith right at the end was awesome. And it